will show you how to effectively use the shutter speed that option is available on your Sony camcorders so please remember that shutter speed is not for recording the slow motion uh, slow motion videos which many people have confusion about it's only to uh, effectively shoot the videos in more smoothness uh, I will show you the demonstration now so always remember when you are selecting the shutter speed first select the frame rate that you want to record your video in so go to image and quality size so I have set the frame rate to 50i and always remember the shutter speed should be twice the frame rate for example if we are recording a video in 50i the shutter speed should be somewhere close to 100 so I will show you now so let's start uh, recording a video so we have a fan in movement so we'll start the recording now it's in auto mode so let's go to camera and mic and uh, we have other settings set to auto and then let's go to shutter speed click on manual when you click on manual uh, you see that it's already set to 100 this is the ideal setting for selecting uh, a proper shutter speed for your record uh, rec you know video recordings that makes your video more professional however if you want to increase or decrease the shutter speed according to your uh, video requirements I will show you how exactly it affects the video quality as you can see in the background the fan is rotating so please pay attention to the shutter speed number always remember that lower the shutter speed higher the amount of light that gets into your lens so if you are uh, recording an indoor video it's always better to set the shutter speed uh, as minimal as possible so don't uh, make it too high otherwise you will start seeing the grid lines here so we will reduce the shutter speed to 60 as you see the rotation of the fan becomes more smooth you don't see those lines of the fan uh, uh, wings here it becomes more and more smoother for example if you are recording a waterfall video then uh, yeah if the shutter speed is lower then it's better however let's increase it and see how it exactly looks now it's at 12 12 is nothing but per second so 12 shutter speed per second so it closes and reopens the shutter 12 times every second so let's make it 25 30 50 which is the idle one 100 so now you will start seeing the movement of the wings if you increase it even higher you can clearly see the movement of the fan wings so when you are recording an outdoor video if you want to capture more details of the object movement then use the higher shutter speed that's ideal as I said now it's in low light if you make it too high then you will start seeing these grid lines you see over here so considering the video quality and frame rate 150 or 100 will be the ideal one so this is how uh, we have to use the shutter speed according to your needs while recording the videos